Hey guys, I'd just like to make a quick update video. Um, I'm really excited about this because um, Nick P666 has just released a new version of iFroyo, which is the iFroyo 0.1.3c. Now, there are several changes, and I'm going to go over all of them, so just bear with me right here. First of which is the um, Wi Fi, which I will demonstrate right now. The only issue is that it's, it's a hit or miss, so sometimes you might have to um, turn on once or twice in order to get it to fully work. Yep, and it's connected. And as you can see, you can see the list of uh, nearby Wi-Fi networks. Um, so let's get out of here. And I'll see if this works. Oh, and another point that I would like to demonstrate is the uh, accelerometer, which now does work, as you can see by what I just did there. So I'll just get out of whatever. And I'll show you the, um, the final feature that I found on this um, version of iFroyo. Now, so I hit the browser, like so, oops, bit of an error there I guess, but, um, let's see, just bear with me here guys. Going to images. And I'll just click this one. And make it full screen. Wonder if this will work. Let me just check. Oh, yeah. And as you can see here, multi touch. You know, it's it's still got a bit of lag to it, but you know, to be honest, it's a it's a huge step forward, you know, in terms of um getting a fully functional version of Android to work on the iPhone and whatnot. And um, to be honest, I tried making a video uh, just a few minutes ago and the boot wasn't too successful. But as you can see here, it seems to you know work fine. Uh, I'll just visit another website. Um, you know, might as well while I'm at it. And the other thing that I noticed was maybe it's because I'm, you know, playing with, you know, uh, maybe because I'm playing with all this accelerometer, Wi-Fi, and all that sort of stuff. But it, the um, iPhone does get noticeably hotter as I, you know, do all this stuff. But And I'll just wait till the web page loads. Oh, backlightings work. That's a good sign. Uh, maybe I shouldn't pick such a big page, but here you go. Yeah, and one last thing that I would like to demonstrate is um, for those of, I have had reports of people saying that the sound doesn't work, but um, if I activate the dial pad, which I'm waiting for it to load, as you can tell, it, it does work, so, you know, so um, assuming you get the SD cards working, you can probably get music to work as well. I'll see if I can um, do that in the future, but um, also the vibration seems to work fine too, so that's pretty good. Anyway, that 
that's about it. And if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks for your support, guys. Take care. And one more thing. I'd like to point out that uh, my tutorial is... Um, the t tutorial I've written is complete. Uh, I shall post the link on the bottom. Uh, checked it and should be should be pretty good. The only thing is uh, this specific tutorial is for installing iFroyo 0.1.3 on the iPhone 3G with iOS 4.0. If you use this tutorial to install any other builds of um, uh, Android, you gotta make sure that you have um, a different build of OpenIBoot for your specific firmware, whether it be 3.1.2, 3.1.3 for the iPhone 2G or for any other iPod touches. Uh, you need a different open eye boot um, compo um, version as well as the uh, Z image. That's all.